Hi, I'm uh, Chase Lipsis. I'm here with Gavin Manheimer, Michael Sunclades, Maximus Wold, and Bryce Levy. Uh, our project, project presentation is over the Rocky Mountain Vibes baseball team located in Colorado. Now I'll send it over to Max. So the Rocky Mountain Vibes were created in 2019 when they got moved to a new location and a new team name and logo. So as Chase said, they're in Colorado Springs, but team name and logo was actually chosen based off of a contest where people were able to choose which name they felt best represented the community. So they're also a minor league affiliate of the Milwaukee Brewers. They play in the Pioneer League, and in 2019, the record was 32 and 43 under the ownership and management of Chris Phillips. So in 2020, they'll be playing at Security Service Field and looking to better their record. Uh, some of the marketing goals for the Rocky Mountain Vise baseball team is to increase ticket and merchandise sales by 15% and create a larger social media presence, primarily on Instagram. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Vibes is a new baseball team. As Max said before, they were created in 2019. So they're, they're just trying to get new customers and new fans um, for their baseball team. They just want to market their business because it's new and they want to create a larger social media presence, just like any business nowadays. Social media is such a large thing and people just want to, if you have a large social media presence, you're going to increase your revenue quite a bit. You're going to get a lot of new fans and keep your old fans. And uh, they want to do that on mainly on Instagram, which is a really good social media platform. Uh, they want to market their players less and more their brand. So by that, they can create new merchandise with their logo. Uh, their mascot, Posty, is a very popular mascot. People love him. And he's a really cool mascot, I think, I personally think. Um, so they can use that to their advantage to market their business more. Uh, they need to really increase their sales and upsell um, their team more. They're a new business, so they just have to get their name out there. I personally did not know about the Rocky Mountain Vibes baseball team before this project, but the more we re researched and talked to them about it, the more I'm interested in the team. I, like I said, I love the mascot. I love the logo, and I'd love to go to one of their teams or one of their games. I think they're a, a growing baseball team, and – they just need to market their team just a little better each year, and then they will finally get, probably increase their sales. And now I'll send it over to Gavin. All right, so when we talked with the Rocky Mountain Vibes marketing team, uh, the target audience that they addressed was they want to target fans, college students, and sports fans, um, they were, and families. The fans they want to target are those who are interested in spending time outdoors and, and just enjoying the ballpark experience. Uh, many of the families are looking for something fun to do over the weekend for a reasonable price. Um, this, for this reason, uh, the team should look to segment the audience into two uh, different groups. Uh, one, a geographical segmentation and a demographical segmentation. Um, so all in all, the team should look to target adults primarily in the Colorado Springs area with children preferably under the age of 16. It's important that, that they uh, um, target families under the age with children under the age of 16 because that way they can target their um, mini Mallows Kids Club to those families, which was a uh, $20 fee, which allows kids to get into the stadium for 20 or for, for free every Sunday game. They get run around the bases after each game. They get free, or they get free uh, shirts, and there's a bunch more that's also included in that. They could also launch product extensions on their top selling merchandise, such as their Copa theme, which is their Loronas. Uh, cap or whatever it's a spanish screaming woman essentially and um that was really popular last year so they're bringing it back this year and one thing they can do is instead of selling just hats and t-shirts like they did last year they can also sell or put the brand on jerseys hat, jackets uh, sweatpants whatever they can think of um, they can also increase their sell, sale of toasty their mascot as chase mentioned he's super popular in the area and just recently got uh, posted by the official minor league baseball Instagram account. So that got them a lot of much needed publicity. For pricing strategies, um, the game day tickets typically vary in price. It depends on the time of day, day of the week, opponent, and other specific promotions they're running. The biggest factor, however, is team success. If the team is doing good and winning games, or even leading the division, more fans want to come out and support the team. So this leads to the organization being able to raise their ticket prices. The price for merchandise in all sports are based on the market size. A team like the Vibes have a medium-sized market, 
which allows them to price their merchandise higher than many other minor league teams with a, who have a smaller market. And then prices for specific merchandise typically do not fluctuate very much throughout the season. Only after the season do the prices fluctuate when most items are heavily discounted. And then another big part of the vibes are their distribution strategies. As of right now, they have one channel of distribution, which is a direct channel of dis distribution. This provides the vibes with the opportunity to directly sell their products via their team store and other social media outlets. Uh, opportunity for growth for the vibes, I would say, is to increase their channels of distribution. More channels of distribution lead to more revenue. An opportunity to expand into an indirect field of distribution would be partnering with local retailers such as Dick Sporting Goods and other local sporting goods stores such as Big Five Sporting Goods and Mount Outlets, which are just local retail stores who provide sporting goods. In regard to supply chain management, the Vibes have optimized their supply chain. The Vibes have partnered with Nike to make their merchandise and gear. Partnering with Nike has provided them with a reliable distributor merchandise who ship locally from Colorado. Doing this has cut many costs and shipping costs as well. Uh, the Rocky Mountain Vibes also have a lot of promotional strategies. So the mission of the Vibes is to consi consistently provide a fun, enjoyable, affordable baseball experience to all. And when doing these promotional strategies, they kind of uh, really uh, go over that mission that they want to do. And to begin with, they offer special ticket discounts. So uh, community ticket Mondays, uh, $2 Tuesdays, and the list goes on and on. And they also do in-game discounts slash promotions. So they do 50 cent hot dog Sundays, $3 drink Thursdays, firework Fridays. And that list can go on and on as well. It's just the more ideas that you have and the more ideas that they can get to bring more people in and have more uh, age variety of groups is the better that they can do. And they also do uh, in, uh, include college theme night to increase college age attendance and that just also brings more uh an age variety around the ballpark and make it a more uh fun and an enjoyable time for everybody 